Hello coin fans and welcome back to the channel. So yesterday I recorded a video on um, a large amount of coins that I was very generously given. If you haven't seen it I'll put a link down below. Um, it's probably best to watch it before this one. And so last night I went through them and I picked out all the silver coins. I mean this took me hours. It was, took me just under five hours I think. I was did watch a couple of movies at the time while I was doing it and I did have to do a lot of research on these, a lot of these individually because I UK coins is my area, foreign coins I don't know a lot about the silver content so I was looking through each one as I went through so that's why it took so long and this, once I filtered it out, this uh, tin here contains the silver coins and I'm just going to have a quick look through them with you guys. I'm not going to go too into detail of each one. I may pick out a few ones that I like um, to take a closer look for another video, but I just wanted to make a quick video to go through these and see what I got in the in the coin lot that was quite generously given to me by my uh, my girlfriend's dad. So let's have a look. So first one we have here is East Africa one shilling, 1941. A nice coin. I can't remember what the silver content that was. Definitely silver. They all are. Um, here we go. We've got a. Uh, these are quite common. Quarter dollar. Beautiful coin. Um, I'll go mad for these. Uh, you can. You can't really see it. The the dates at the bottom. There. It's kind of almost rubbed off. I did look at it under a loop, and I think it was nineteen twenty. Quarter dollar. Here we go, 1897, 25 cents. That's from the Netherlands. I like that coin. Here we have 100 mils from Palestine, 1933. It's a German coin. Here we go. 1876 50 fennings. I think we've got a couple of those or fennings at least. Here we go. Everybody knows this one. Sixpence 1936. That's a UK coin. That's 0.500, so 50% silver in now. What we've got here uh, Republica de Panama. It's a Panama coin from 1966. This is a newer. Coin, same newer, still over 50 years old. Can't remember what the denomination of that is. May have a closer look at that one in a future video. Here we have a New Zealand one shilling from 1943. George VI King Emperor. And then next we have 10 francs, 1934. So Republic of France, that's quite a big coin. Can't remember what the contents of that was. And then 50 centimes, French Republic. I like that coin, that's a great coin. 1917, I like the colouring on that. Here we have a dime, silver dime. Uh, Liberty with uh, wings on the ears from 1920. Yeah, that's a very well worn. 1818. You can see that, and that's a, that's a UK coin. That is, uh, is that a sixpence? Can't remember. But that's uh, that's sterling silver. You can see it's very worn. So that's ninety-two point five percent silver. And here we have this. It's like another German coin. Dutch Reich half mark from nineteen oh nine. It's in great condition. 
and he's slightly worn on this side. And then we have another coin from the Netherlands, 1G from 1958. And then there's a, a King George sixpence, 1942. So that's a 50, oops, sorry, it's a 50% silver. And this is a very worn coin. I think that is 10 French centimes. I think it was when they had the franc. It's difficult to see there. I think it just says 10 cents. 1910 is that? I can't. It's difficult to make out. Very well worn. I love that though. I like um, coins that have got a bit of history. <clears throat> What's this one? East Africa half shilling, 50 cents from 1937. King George again. Hope everybody knows this one. The sixpence, 1929. Another sixpence, 1921. This is a very well worn one. And here we have a 1916 and three pence. So that's a sterling silver. Found a few of those in the last time I hunted through some uh, coins. If you look at a previous video, there's another half mark. 1906, the German Eagle. What's this one? Australian threepence from 1950. It's the first one I've seen of those. And here we have another ten. Oh, sorry, another ten cents from nineteen oh five, nineteen oh three. Sorry. Again, very worn. Another sixpence, silver sixpence, nineteen thirty. Bit worn out. Nineteen twenty nine sixpence, a lot better condition that one. There we go. French Republic, one franc, nineteen eleven. Not sure what this is. Two Piastres, 1916. I did Google it last night, but I can't remember now. I might have a closer look at this one. Future date. Look at the tone in on that. Canadian 10 cents, 1941. Beautiful coin. Getting quite small now. So here we have 10 Konevs. 1898 3 pence 1895 wow maybe 125 years old Nineteen thirty two, three pence. No, nineteen thirty two. Ten cents, nineteen eighteen. Into the First World War. Eighteen 
1889. Wow. So just put this bit in focus a bit. So here we have, we've got a couple of these that have got, uh, people have used them, I guess for jewelry or something, key rings. I don't know why people do it, but um, I guess if they own the coin, it's up to them to do what they want. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't recommend defacing coins. Well, sorry, I can't focus now. Anyway, that's a sixpence from 1902. Then we have another two here, which are still together. So this one is Un Decimo. So it looks like Republic of Chile. 1883. And the other one here is Republic of France, 50 cents, 1875, um, yeah, not really sure what that has been used for, maybe a charm or on a necklace, I don't know. And here we have probably the smallest coin I've ever seen, I didn't even know this coin existed until I found this last night, look at the size of that. 1874 that is a one silver penny I believe I never knew that pennies were ever silver and the size of it look it's uh let me get something uh let me get a modern coin for comparison give me a second so here is a new penny the pennies that are in uh, circulation at the moment this is great condition for 1987 that's why uh, I've kept this one but if you look at this compared to this Absolutely minuscule. Look at that. Wow. What a great coin though. What what a beautiful coin. 1874. Oh, it's in the focus now. There you go. 144 years old. My maths is correct. So yeah, I love that one. Very delicate. Surprise it's lasted so long. Here we have a three pence 1930. We've got a couple of those in there. Another one at 1922. 10 cents 1911, Republic of France. Again, 1918, same coin. See, I mean, I thought, I thought these were small until I saw that uh, silver penny. Ten or oh, eighteen ninety-seven. I can't remember where they're from now. Somewhere in Europe. I think one of the Scandinavian company, countries. So then we have Republic de Chile, so Chile, Diz Son Tavos, so I'm guessing that means 10 cents, 1908. Here we've got a very strange coin. This one's been stamped, DW1920 and a hole been made in it. This is a 19... Is it 1917? Can't really see the stamps, pushed it back. 1917, three pence. Um, that's quite cool actually. I don't I don't really like coins that have been defaced, but I guess somebody somebody did that for a reason. Another ten cents, nineteen fourteen. Another coin with the hole in it. Three pence from 1935. And here we have another, what is it, a dime? Another American dime, silver dime. This one, 
And lastly, we have this. Look how worn that sixpence is. 1924, that's flat, flat to the touch. Love it. So that is probably quite difficult to see. What a great coin. Okay, so that's it. So not some not bad finds. There's a great great bit quite good decent bit of silver coinage in there. Um considering it I was given to me, that's uh really good. I'll just quickly uh stick the scales on and see how much there is. So I've got a bit of an update to the silver uh video. I'm just gonna tack this on at the end. So I went through some more coins, I found some another bag of I initially I thought it was um old pennies and half pennies. But there was actually some silver in there. So uh, let's just have a quick look at these ones as well. So let's start with this one. So this is the only um, sterling silver. Look at the condition of that. It's such a shame that somebody's, uh, somebody's drilled a hole in it. But maybe that's the reason why it's such good condition. Because it's been used as a necklace or something. So that is an old... Is that a sixpence? It's a sixpence here. Yeah. From... 1887 look at the toning on that fantastic condition i think that would probably be worth a fair bit of money if it didn't have the hole in it okay so there's some sterling silver 92.5 percent and we've also got some 0.5 hundred so some uh, 50 percent silver we've got this uh, 1945 sixpence Also good condition. These look like they've been in a bag for a very long time. Started to go green. King George the six. So um, when they stopped making these in silver in 1946, this uh, changed like it. It says GR and then I think it's got V1 on each side. Not sure off the top of my head, but that's definitely different. Okay, nice. Also, we've got some florins. Look at the condition of this. You very rarely see these. It's 1921, so this is a, an early one. Look at the condition of that. That is great. Hardly any wearing on that at all. But then if we take a look at this one, which is newer, 1924, look how worn out that is. And then look at this one, 1922, even, 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 even more worn. That's amazing the difference. And then there's another fairly worn one, 1922 also. And then we have some of these newer, so these are, uh, George the sixth, George the fifth. So still before 1946, two shillings a florin. Beautiful coin. And again, same year, 1942 and a 1944. So there's the, the other silver I found along with uh, the previous stuff. So um, I'm not gonna get the scales back out, but I weighed it all and it came to just under a quarter of a kilogram. So I know it's not pure silver, but there must be a good 175 grams in there. So I'm not sure what that is in ounces. Um, a true ounce is about 32. So there must be four or five ounces of pure silver in that lot, which is great. Um, out of about seven, seven and a half kilograms of coins, a quarter of a kilogram of silver coins, which is great. And uh, okay, guys, so I've just added that a little bit on the end. Thanks again for watching and speak to you next time. Okay, bye.